for project 41 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this random images fed by just using html css and javascript so anytime i refresh my browser so it will now give us a random images right here okay so here you can see we have these images right here so if i just refresh my browser and here you can see it will now give us these new images right here okay so anytime i refresh it will now give us new images right here okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code hi guys so welcome to the project 41 and in this project we are going to be building a random image feed by just using html css and javascript but we are not going to be using asynchronous javascript like we are not going to be using async and await keywords or xml http request and stuff like that but we are going to be just using this like um this link called source uh, unspash.com and then random images so whenever we write this link and we hit enter so it will now gives us random images right here so if i just uh, press it one more time and hit enter so it will now just gives us different images okay so we will need two functions the first one will be random numbers and then the second one will be a random sizes size so it will just uh, help us with that all right so to do that first of all we just have to create a folder so i'm going to just give my folder name of like 041 of like random images inside this random images folder we are going to be creating three files so the first one will be index.html file and the second one will be style.css file and the third one will be just app.js file okay so now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can see everything a bit clear all right so here we are going to be writing our html so now let's just write like uh, random images or image feed and then link it with our css and also with our javascript save it collapse this uh, metadata right click on it open it with a live server okay so for html we are not going to be writing a crazy amount of html but we are going to be just writing like h1 of like random image feed and then we have to just write like content right here and we are going to be placing all of our content inside this content div right here save it all right so this is it about an html so now let's jump right to the javascript part of this video so once we are done with the javascript then we can just write a little bit of styling for that all right so the first thing we would need is that we would need to just get our container right here so we would just get our container by just using query selector and we are going to be writing our content and this content is this content right here okay so the next thing which we have to do is to create a function which, which will just give us a random number so i'll just write like random number and it will not take any parameter whatsoever and here we are going to be just returning like math.floor and then just like math.random and now let's just call this math.random and now we want to divide it with 10 and we want to just plus 300 right here so once we save it and now let's just like call this function a few times you know what i'll just write like console.log so that you can see it a bit better so once we save it let me call this function like random number and just a few times save it open our console right here so here you can see it will now gives us like a random numbers right here so if you just refresh it one more time so it will just give us like random numbers right here okay so that's there so now let me just remove this function call and also this console.log so just return and then just remove that all right so now this is our first function so the next function which you are going to be creating is a random sizes so i'll just write like function random size and here we are going to be just getting a random sizes so first of all let me just show you inside the console so we are going to be writing like a template literal and it will be now equals to like a random number and we want to write x in here or whatnot and then here we are going to be writing like a number random numbers and we have to call it right here and also call it right here as well so once we save it and now let's just call this function a few times like random size and now just call it a few times so once we save it and now if we open our developer tools so here you can see it will now give us a random sizes right here so if you just refresh it so here you can see it will now give us a random sizes okay so that's that so the next thing which you have to do is first of all just remove them and replace it with return keyword and now let's save it and now the next thing which you have to do is to create a variable give him a name of like base url and it will be now equals to this url like https and then colon colon then source dot unsplash unsplash dot com and it will be now equals to random 
Okay, so that's that. So now let me just click on this one. So it will just open and it will just give us a random image right here. Kind of a weird image, but anyhow. Alright, so the next variable which we have to declare is just sort of const and it will be also const because we are not going to be changing the value of them. Rows and it will be now equals to seven rows, okay? So now let's just iterate over through those rows by just using our for loop. So i will be equals to zero. i is less than just rows and then just time three. And then finally we have to increment the i right here. And now we have to create our image element. So let me just write like create element and it will be now equals to img for image. And now let's just provide a source for this image. So we are going to be writing like img src and it will be now equals to this base URL first of all like base URL. And then we are going to be using our random size. So now let's just call this function right there. And now the next thing which we have to do is that we have to append this image which we created right here to that container. So just write like a container dot append child and now we have to just append this image and once we save our file and it will take a little bit of time but it will gives us a lot of images right now all right so here you can see it's now giving us a random images right here and that's that so if you scroll down a bit so here you can see it will now gives us um some of them will be like the same images but the majority of them will be like random so here you can see it now gives us that much images all right so now let's jump right into our css and now let's just style it a bit and we are done so the first thing i would do is i'll just write like a box sizing or border box because i want to remove that empty space then just select our body display will be flex and then flex direction will be colon a line item will be center and justify corner will be also center and now we have to just give them a little bit of like main height of 100 vh and margin will be zero and font family will be sans serif save it and this is how it looks like so you know what we're going to be just selecting these images right away so now let me just select this content then content which is this container let me show you this container so now let's just select that and display will be flex uh justify content will be center align items will also be center flex wrap will be wrap and then we have to just provide a max width to it to like thousand pixels to save it and this is how it looks like right now okay and now the next thing which you have to do is to just add a little bit of margin between these images so now let's just select our uh, content and we have to select all of these images and object fit will be set to cover and underneath that we are going to be providing a margin of 10 pixel height will be just like 30 or 300 pixel and width will be also 300 pixel or if you want to go with the random sizes so you can also go with that and then we have a max width of 100 percent save it and this is now looking a bit better right here you can change the background you can change a lot of stuff inside this project and this is now yours <laughs> okay so now the final thing i would do is that if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you guys already do know a git and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now all right so let me just do that we are working on 041 so now let's just clear our terminal git status will be 041 and now let's just add everything and do a commit for that like git commit and then you have to just write a random images or images fit and that's that and then finally let's just push it to our github repository all right so now we successfully push our code into our github repository and now if we just refresh our browser and now we would just get here a 41 or uh, random images right here so if you click on that so it will now give us all of these uh files right here so this is our javascript code this is our html code and finally we have our css code right here okay so i think that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye